where during it, during that 48 hours? Yes. Uh, we were aware that it was them or just that something major was happening? There was awareness that there was some sort of contact occurring. Uh-huh. But not a a full conscious awareness of what or why. Right. Just and knowing. did you feel receptive to it? Yes. It, it's it's known that any any sort of experience is for the betterment of myself and for others. Uh huh. But but you didn't realize it was by from these beings who are your beings. There was a suspicion that yes, there would there was a connection with home, but not it wasn't fully understood. Uh huh. Well, do you think it's going to be helpful and going to be nice that now you have more awareness of who they are and who they are in relation to you? Yes, it may allow it may allow for easier communication going forward. Oh yes, and would you like that? Yes, we all would. Ah. Uh. And how do you think that she's doing now in her mission on Earth? She's fulfilling it according to the plan. There have been some stops and starts, but all of it's a, all of it's moving along according to plan. Uh huh. And is there anything that you would like her to know? Now that you are talking, she should release any and all fear. There's nothing to fear. Oh, okay. It's been proven so far that the mission is being completed and that we're here to support in the right ways. Oh, very good. You want her to know that? It helps with feeling less alone. Yeah. There are still periods of loneliness. Uh huh. Any um, suggestions or advice you'd like to give her at this point? To just relax and allow and to have more fun. It doesn't have to be so hard and serious sometimes. Oh, maybe has she become a little bit like her father sometimes in that particular way? There's a there's an impatience sometimes that needs to soften. Right. Hmm. Anything else? She is loved and supported. She's what? She is loved and supported. Oh, that's good. And do you know yet if she will have further lifetimes on earth or will she be returning to her original form to your form this is this is the last oh this is the last lifetime she'll have as a human for now unless there's another choice There are lots of choices that can be made. Oh, yes. 
including being one of you again? Yes, that may be preferred. Uh huh. But there's so many experiences to have. Hmm. So even though she does not see you, probably in her daily life, uh, you'd like her to know that you're with her a lot and always there for assistance if she needs it. And that you're very care. She's very cared about. She really isn't alone, even when she feels lonely. Is that correct? Yes. What comes to mind is it's just a phone call away. We're just a phone call away. <laughs> that that's a good uh, metaphor that she would certainly understand yes so are there many others on earth who were one of you um, who are now in this lifetime are here on earth in order to help yes our group is small but there are many many from many civilizations many types of beings many types of souls it's a melting pot on earth so there um, is your group and also there are many other groups from what we call space, um, who are here as humans helping. We work together better than you do. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> right, I definitely hope so. It's kind of like a big team effort. Supporting in the ways that we can. Uh-huh guiding, educating, healing. So much to be done. It required a big team. Yeah. So from your perspective, can you see all the big movements uh, for certain groups taking power over the whole earth. Can, can you see all of that going on? Yeah, there seems to be like a, a, there's a struggle. Yes. But there's, but there is a, an infiltration of sorts that is allowing for a shift. Humans are still navigating rough waters but consciousness is shifting ah uh. this cycle is is an improvement on previous cycles so it it seems that there are that there's a lot of help coming to the earth, uh, <clears throat> even though, or maybe especially because there is such a big, what well, we could consider a power grab, a certain group of people wanting to dominate everybody on the earth. Uh, reduce the population tremendously and I think they're very effectively doing that and purposely deliberately and um, this power grab wants to change everything reset everything to their advantage and some of us are very aware of that and don't want it and don't know what to do about it um, but, but you're saying that there's a lot of help from off of the planet, from other beings. Uh, are you helping with that sort of thing? 
there is in ways that are less overt, but humans make choices and those choices must play out. Right. And there is a choice to honor life and to honor yeah. the spirit of life over material things. Uh -huh. And humans are being presented with choice points that allow for that understanding and that evolution of consciousness to occur. Uh -huh. Evolution is slow. It takes time. Right. The situation is complex. Yes. So does it seem like the evolution of consciousness toward the good, the helpful, the caring, has a chance of being more pervasive, more effective than the more self-serving power grabs going on? Eventually, yes. That will always be the case. That is the nature of evolution. Mm. The light will always evolve beyond the dark. There may be certain breakdowns before there is a breakthrough. Ah, uh, yeah. And how about how about the earth itself? Uh, some of us, many of us, I think, all over the world, are really conscious of all the harm that we humans are doing to the earth, and and uh, want to lessen that as much as possible. And yet there are many people sort of in control who keep on polluting and uh, hurting the earth, hurting the air, hurting the humans. And we've got so much technology with which we can create great harm. Uh, do you see the possibility of the earth itself, this beautiful planet, um, making it through all the destructiveness of some of the humans. She will protect herself. She's fine. Good, good. She's sick in some ways, but she, she can protect herself. And does she know how to do that? She's already been doing it. She doesn't want to do it. She loves all of her children, but she'll take the necessary measures. Good. And advise others as well? Yes. The changes that have been experienced some of the climate issues and fires and it's it's a way of rebalancing it's necessary that's a way for the earth to go through a rebalancing it's how she rebalances
there's still significant imbalance, but she'll rebalance as needed. And is there anything more that um, you would like her or any of us to know at this point? It's important to know that there will continue to be changes and that storms will need to be weathered. Mm -hmm. And that is part of the rebalancing. Oh, So even though those things, the damage from um, storms and so for earthquakes and whatever, floods, droughts, um, all of that that's going on in different parts of the world, even though that's extremely inconvenient for the humans living on Earth, it has a larger purpose of rebalancing the earth it has always occurred and will continue to it just may feel more extreme at these times yeah and there are more humans to be affected yes that's true And are things going better on your planet? On most planets, yes. <laughs> there are some with challenges, of course. Most have moved most have moved beyond these sorts of challenges. At least those who are helping at this time. Do you think that there are many on Earth who, uh, who are living on Earth now, humans who have your group as a lineage in other words at some point in what we call time <clears throat> and lifetimes uh, they might have been part of your species there is a small percentage a very small percentage there are many species many lineages connected with Earth. I'm sorry, what was that? There are many lineages, many species connected with Earth. There are many, yeah. There are more from others. Right. And did many participate in some way in creating us humans? Yes, there have been many, many periods of interaction. Throughout, throughout yeah. many eras. Many eras, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And in those interactions, was there uh, some influencing by some of these other groups, influencing of who the humans are? There has been. There's been an attempt at a more evolved version of human. Uh -huh. Just continual evolution. is part of the evolutionary process. Uh -huh. And does that seem to be true with certain groups of animals? Has there been an attempt to sort of improve or upgrade any of the animal groups on Earth? Less so, but there have been experiments. It's all of an experiment. This entire universe is an experiment. With life in the entire universe. Mm -hmm. That is the nature of life. Creation and evolution go hand in hand. Both occur. Mm -hmm. There are many groups constantly creating and allowing those creations to evolve. Huh. And do you, on your species, you on your planet, have a sense of what we humans refer to as God? The one source. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Which we are all a part of. Uh-huh. We are all cells in the body of that source. We understand our source better than humans do. We are closer. So you and your kind of um, you understand yourselves better than we humans understand ourselves? We understand ourselves as source, as part of that source. Humans, oh, okay. have, been, humans have been very separated. They live in a state of separation. Yeah. That does not need to be the case. Hmm. And that is the purpose of the mission, to move beyond separation. To establish a sense of oneness. You say we're given permission to do that? To establish a sense of oneness among humans. To prevent further separation. Yes, I think there are many people on Earth, not everybody, but a lot of the influencers and leaders just naturally and deliberately want to divide us up 
uh, different teams, different political parties, different races, uh, different cultures, different habits, different languages, uh, different opinions, a lot of op opposition, a lot of individuality, which it seems to be the opposite of feeling that we are all one. Mm -hmm. and, and this is so interwoven in the human culture. The separation I, is more extreme on earth. Yeah, yeah. But also a normal part of the evolutionary process to experience that degree of separation. Oh, okay. Before returning to a more unified state. Uh -huh. Humans are being given choices to return to that state. Is there anything else that you would like to impart at this point? To have empathy and compassion for all who are caught in the separation. Hmm. You do not solve separation with more separation. The only way to repair the damage is through empathy and compassion. Well, I really thank you so much for sharing all this. It was I appreciate it very much. And I know that Jenna will appreciate it too. It's an honor. <clears throat> and thank you, too, for all the help that you give to the people who are here from your domain, the people who are here to really assist in these difficulties going on on Earth. It is a desire to be of service and to support. Uh. Yeah. It is my desire, too, and the desire of many humans whom I know, including Jenna, to be here to give service. Okay, let's take a deep breath after that. So, thank you so thank much you for joining us today on this episode I'm and for being open-minded and coming with an open heart to these sorts is. of conversations and this information that we're sharing. This truly is paradigm busting information and that's our mission to help you awaken to your highest self, to help you evolve spiritually and cosmically towards the highest cosmic destiny for us all. So with that, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends if anyone you know could benefit from this podcast, this episode in particular, definitely share. Let's spread the word and bring our star family together here on earth.